Welcome back to Casino Guitars. Special Neon Rooster edition. Back for another episode. Um, I think we're, we're going to start doing this, right? We're doing things. Feels like it. We're, we're using again. the Neon Rooster. We're doing demos. We're using full bands. We're doing all kind of things. Jonathan's doing things you'd never believe him to do. You'd never believe it. It's getting wild. It. <laughs> he came in here without a shirt on. He was screaming. I mean, somebody did send me some spandex uh, pants. Dylan was running around. He was like, no, no. And John was trying to squish him. <laughs> it's like, coming. Oh, yeah. Soon. Soon we're going to have something that's spandex <laughs> pants worthy for, uh, for a demo. So. Oh, we got to find something cool for that. Make all your all your dreams come true. We need some with a whammy. Um, oh, wow. God. Yeah, some Floyd Rose action. But uh, tonight we are looking at the newest or one of the newest offerings from Magnetone. You know, we're Magnetone fans. It is the baby M80. That's right. 12 watts of goodness. It's the cutest thing on this, planet This is the Earth. head and cab version, obviously. You know what I love um, about it? And I just now, whenever I peek back to look at it, just now notice this. Compared to the Starlight, I love that it literally says Baby M80 on the front plate. <laughs> we, I will make sure to get that in some photos online because that is gorgeous. I that's sort of, amazing. I questioned that at first, but it, it is actually kind of amazing. Oh, that's hot, you know? dude. That's hot. You have a real, you have a full sized M80. So imagine if you bought this just if I had the baby. Next to it. I really, I mean, this one looks amazing because I have the big combo. I kind of want the baby combo too. Oh, I think that's the only way to do it. I mean, it's dumb that I want it, but I do, especially after playing it tonight. Um, what did you think? You were sitting in the sound booth and you heard it. In the sound booth, uh, at first I was like, before you cut it on, I was thinking, you know what? I'm sure it's going to sound a little cracker boxy. It might be a little bit of a gimmick. Shame on me for doubting it, because that thing sounded huge. And whenever we tracked it, it sounded even bigger. Listen, like, tracks, damn. it sounded really... Like, you know, we were playing it back in the, the room speakers in here. Um, man, it just sounded alive. I mean, and I went... T tonight, I went straight in with a telly. So not even humbuckers, single coils, straight in. Um, no pedals. Um, I really had it, you know, the gain up like seven. Here's the great thing about this one versus the regular M80. I mean, I love my normal M80. Um, but, you know, I find myself in situations where the master is on, like, two. And it really sounds so much more live when you get over two with the master, right? You, like, four um, is what you keep telling me. You're like, if you get four it to four, is like, that's... But it's so loud, you know what I mean? And it's glorious and it's wonderful. And there are times, like, especially playing outside, it's amazing. But, like, on this one, we were in here. I had the master just over four. Um, I stayed on the high gain channel and just used the, you know, the, the controls on the guitar, uh, the volume and the, the you know, just to pick up slugger switch, um, to get sort of different tones. And it was pretty fantastic. Um, I will say on this one, uh, there's no foot switch. So you kind of got to pick high gain or low gain, which I think is okay. Um, it seemed to me, in just my moment of playing, I haven't played it a ton yet, um, that maybe they're a little closer. And it's almost like the low kind of goes into high gain territory. Yeah, so you can more kind of kind of figure out where you want. But I, I still think I think the sweet spot is yeah. crank it all up and then use the volume on your guitar. It, this is definitely that kind of amp. Yeah. Um, there is an effects loop. It's all right on the front of the head, which is kind of cool. So, that you know, if nice. you wanted to run reverbs or delays or whatever. Um, well, here, here's a question for you, right? I'll pose a couple of questions at you with this. Would you buy the Baby M80 combo? And I was just now thinking about this for fly date kind of stuff, because it's really light as well. That's something to know it, is how yeah, light it is. I mean, it's insane. It's a 10 light. speaker, you know, an ET10. I could see you, and I feel like you may end up doing this. God. is purchasing one of these literally just to because i mean tonally speaking that was pretty phenomenal oh, it was great that was insane and my guess is for playing it and again you know these are brand like we just got these so you know we'll, we'll report back um i bet this one's gonna take pedals really well with the effects loop um i love that i can get the master volume up i, I you know, I've done videos before. I've done videos on, on my stuff. Um, you know, I've got a little Supro amulet, which is cool. This little 110 combo. It does have reverb and tremolo, and it can go down to one watt, you know, where this one's got the master volume instead. 
I don't really want to get rid of my little Supra, but a master. The little a little M80 110 combo for like it, because I feel like everyone needs a little Princeton sized grab and go, and this would be cool too. Like this is great. It's just for me convenience wise of being able to grab, you well, know, have pedal board guitar and yes. amp all, you know, one trip. I would love um, to see the combo next to this one. We have the combo back at the shop. I think yeah. we'll probably bust it open tomorrow. I think, and we yeah, should, I think yeah, yeah, we will. We'll check it out and look at it there. Um, but I think. I, I'm just interested to see how, you know, obviously, just like with the combo compared to the head and cabinet of the full size thing, they're right there sonically. Like, there's nothing really different. It's just one package versus the other. So I think if well, you get all that sound in the combo. You know, the combo and the cabinet are both open back, yeah. right? You know, and, and maybe, like, let's say that this was a 112 cab or you wanted to put the head on a bigger cabinet. Okay, cool. Then, then there's some difference. And I think the same thing with the M80, you know, you can get a combo as a 212. You can get the head with the two. I mean, you know, like if, uh, initially, if you were getting the head in the cab, you were getting 212s and 112 in the combo. But now you can get a 212 combo. I, you know, I think they're sort of the same. Yeah. And especially if you're going to mic them up, which, you, you know, you probably are a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, you, this thing was pretty darn loud in here. I mean, like, we're sitting here hey. playing with drums and bass. And you can see, um, once again, great house band with Joe Felice and Roland, Roland J. J. Beckerman. Beckerman. Um, that's, right. that's right. That's right. And they, uh, um, I, they, do not, they don't play quietly. They do and not. That's not. And that's not a strike against them. We love that. But they don't play They're just quietly. They're solid, you know, yes, kind and, of rock players. You know? And they hit it. Um, and that amp, I don't think, had a single problem. Oh, and I, you know, that. I could have bumped up on the master and, and been too loud with a 12. I mean, 12 watts, 2 watts. Yeah. But we've always said the magnetron stuff is sort of extra loud. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think sometimes people don't understand, like, every 5-watt amp, every 10-watt amp, 20-watt, whatever it is, they're not the same, right? Like, yeah. this is a loud 12 watts. The, yes. the Twilighter I have is a really loud 20 watts, you know? Uh, yeah. The M80 is a loud 45 watts. So this, I... It's hard for me to imagine most normal people's playing scenarios where this wouldn't be enough, wouldn't be loud enough. You know what I mean? I completely agree. The Especially tone is, the fact that you can get that master rock. I mean, for a lot of people, and I, I almost hate to say this, this is probably going to be better than the M80 for a lot of people. Oh. Just because you can run it more wide open. Oh, you know? yeah. And if you got a cab you love, get, get the head, you know. Yeah. But um, Well, and, you know, it's like I said in in your situation as well. I could see you owning both of these things and not griping about them and be like, oh, I kind of have two of the same thing. I think you would be like, no, 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 this has a, this serves a functionality purpose that I kind of need at times. And then yeah. the other one is, is just sweet as well. The big, big boy is great. You can take that thing. Well, here. there's a ton of times where I do a small gig um, and I end up taking the Supra and I think, man, the M80 would be it's but it's just overkill you know yeah. and it would be kind of anemic they're going running on like a half on the yeah. master you know what i mean yeah. um then you feel like you're almost and like, it have this yeah. big old it's not it's not a huge amp but you know what i mean yeah. um but man i'd take the baby and maybe to to just because i mean you know i do gigs a lot where i'm um playing electric with like an acoustic player you know like a duo god i'd take it for that it'd be a killer little grab and go for that i think it'd be sick um I but think he is going to do it. I think we're already getting him down the path, boys. Let me know all how ridiculous it is right. in the comments for me to have. Comments. I want you to, to email. I want you to message magnetone. Johnny. Peer pressure the heck out of him. Start a GoFundMe, whatever you want to do. GoFundMe. <laughs> That's killer. <laughs> so that works. <laughs> baby M80. Um, Get Johnny God. his baby back. <laughs> I'll never be. That's Johnny right. needs his baby back. <laughs> Get Johnny a baby. Um, God, that's, I mean, that's a great campaign. I'm with it. Hashtag. Hashtag, get Johnny a baby. Um, I'm all sweaty, that, I'm all sweaty from that jam. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, man, the, no, I, I'm impressed. I think Magneton has, has crushed it. It's a really cool idea. Um, I don't really miss the fact that it doesn't have reverb. I didn't miss the reverb. Um, We've had this conversation before. If you catch you know, any of our live streams, you hear my hot takes, and one of them is, you don't need reverb. No. It's time to grow up. It's time to grow up, kids. Time Get rid of the up. reverb. Get your, I that's mean, what you I know, got the pedal boards for. That's why I have Derek to add it in post. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little reverb sweetener, just barely. Sweetener. That's the secret. Um, but no, yeah, baby M80, that was, you know, what you're hearing straight in with a telly. Full tone, plenty of volume. There's an effects loop, 
yeah, it's good amp. Um, and it's it's also less expensive, you know, than a lot more of, of, of the a lot of the other magnetons sort are of offerings. So okay. I think it's a win all the way around. Sounds like rock and roll to me. Yep. Anything That's else? Your, I don't think so. I think we're ready to pack it up, huh? There you go. Done. Easy. Boom. Magic. Well, here we go. Hit like, hit subscribe. Click the bell. We've <laughs> flipped. Feel weird. My God. <laughs> this doesn't um, work. We're going to go back to normal after this one. We're not. We didn't Never do again like will I say it. <laughs> There's no way I can do this. This doesn't work. I've turned you into Baxter. <laughs> no. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for hanging out. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Oh, no.